Rose Adventures Diary. Quite a thrilling experience there, I must imagine, from Tobias Chanji, just enjoying himself in the sunny beaches, sandy beaches actually, in Mombasa. Well, you'll catch the same report exactly at 9.30 p.m. tonight. Well, let's talk about investing in the healthcare sector here in the country. I'm now joined by Peter Eichhaus, who is the sales head for Roche Diagnostics. Many thanks, sir, for making time for us. Didi, thanks very much for having me. It's great to be here. Well, uh, earlier on today, we did, uh, of course, cover the launch of the HIV viral load uh, testing. And uh, just talk to us about, uh, there's a lot of interest in Kenya now that you're seeing our healthcare system is a big priority for the uh, national government. Sure. So we, today we launched in partnership with the Kenya Medical Research Institute and Roche Diagnostics through a public-private partnership, a state-of-the-art HIV viral load and HIV early infant diagnostic testing facility. Mm -hmm. And this is in response to the HIV uh, epidemic um, or situation in Kenya where approximately 1.6 million Kenyans are affected and infected by HIV. Approximately 1.1 million, it's estimated, on treatment. And to ensure uh, proper treatment outcomes, you need proper diagnostic solutions. And through this partnership with Kemri, we were able to launch this, uh, a testing facility here in Nairobi that could provide this testing. And so in response to the high burden of HIV in Kenya, it's one of the reasons why we chose to partner with Kemri in, in this country. All right. And uh, talk to us about the scale of this investment and, uh, of course, uh, the impact it will have eventually. Sure. So I think the, the beginning of the investment, it, uh, there was a lot of negotiation in terms of trying to understand each partner's requirements as part of the public-private partnership. The investment from Roche in the end, we were able to install one of our leading uh, cutting-edge technologies. It's called the Cobus 8800 that's able to do the HIV testing I've, I've described. And furthermore, to, in order to be able to house this cutting-edge uh, technology, we also invested in the infrastructure at the, the, on the facilities of Camry in order to make sure that the instrument runs at optimal uh, conditions and efficiencies. Mm -hmm. And uh, from a uh, original point of view, of course, uh, many people would want to understand really from investing in the healthcare system, mm -hmm. uh, what is the return on investment? Sure. So. You know, in, a, in the end, this is, it is a business for Roche Diagnostics, and we are in the business of delivering life-saving technologies and diagnostics, as well as in therapeutics around uh, our, our Roche Pharma business. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of the return on investment, you know, in response to the, the high number of patients who are fleck, affected by HIV, not only in Kenya, mm -hmm. but in sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. we, we recognize as an organization we, we have to do something differently. And together with the Clinton Health, uh, the Clinton Health Access Initiative, the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, and UNAIDS, we launched the Global Access Program in response to this high disease burden, and we introduced sustainably reduced pricing in response to the high volume. Mm -hmm. We think of this business as long-term. We do it uh, in terms of our, our belief in a responsible manner, and that is sustainably. And in this, in this regard, even with lower pricing at the higher volume, in response to this high need, there is a return on, on investment for our organization. Uh -huh. So what are some of the other markets you're looking to venture into in East Africa? So in East Africa, we will look at a similar, uh, the similar facts that we've looked at in Kenya. So for example, we will look at the population that's affected by HIV. This not only includes adults, but very important to our organization is looking at those newborn children who are born positive or hopefully negative to mothers who are affected or infected by the virus. So. We look at these statistics, we look at the infrastructure in countries, we look at the funding. All these programs uh, require funding to be, to be successful and sustainable. And we look at these, these models um, for our investment. But what's very important, none of this is achievable without partnership. Mm -hmm. And we look for organizations such as the Kenya Medical Research Institute to partner with us to bring these technologies uh, to, the, the, to the countries. So we look for something very similar in the other countries in, in East Africa and also other countries in sub-Saharan Africa that have a large disease burden. 
All right. And uh, looking at statistics in uh, Kenya, really, we've been seeing a, a drop in uh, new infections, yes. especially among uh, the mother to child. And uh, over and above this, as much as the milestone is being achieved around that, we're also seeing some other interesting uh, trends where we're seeing uh, teenager infections have actually gone up. And uh, mm -hmm. for you, what, what do you see in the horizon when it comes to eventually getting to a cure and how will this affect uh, the disease burden for African countries? Sure, so I think if we start with the first part of the question about the reduction in the mother-to-child transmission. And this really is a result of the work that has been done by, by governments, by the funders, such as Global Fund and PEPFAR that I mentioned, the World Health Organization, UNAIDS, all these partners put such a focus on in the early 2000s to try and put a stop to the transmission of HIV to newborn infants. Of course, new technologies such as the, the Roche Cobus HIV early infant diagnostic test, which is able to detect disease in newborn infants, um, as well as some of the, the therapeutics and the pharmaceuticals that have improved over the past 15 years. Mm -hmm. This has resulted in a massive reduction. Um, there are different ways that a child can be infected by HIV, and these have all been greatly explored, explored and addressed to ensure the reduction. You know, the concern around HIV, to, pick up, to address the second part of the question, why we still see the increase in some areas. You know, I'm reminded uh, at attending the recent AIDS 2018 conference in Amsterdam, and you see there's still a challenge around gender inequality in Africa, as well as stigma and awareness. Right. And these are the areas that still have to be addressed. The only sustainable answer in the end, even to be better than a cure, if a cure is possible, mm. due to the nature of HIV, is prevention. Fantastic. Many thanks, uh, Peter Hakers, for giving us this interesting